this will probably take them out. This probably will be the demise of some small businesses. Now at five, Charleston Mayor Amy Goodwin delivers more bad news for music lovers and for downtown businesses. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Abney. And I'm Rob Macko. A Capital City summertime staple has become the latest victim of the coronavirus pandemic. The Live on the Levee summertime concert series brings enough boost to downtown Charleston businesses and local vendors every year. 13 News reporter Hannah Getz joins us live in the studio with what led to the city making the decision to cancel that event this year. Hannah. Rob Jennifer, Live on the Levee was scheduled to begin in just a few short weeks. The live music and food brings in a lot of money to the city, but it also brings a lot of people together. Not a good practice these days. You know what is a really difficult decision? It's a difficult decision to take somebody off of a respirator. That's a difficult decision. Compared to that, Charleston Mayor Amy Goodwin says the decision to cancel the summertime event was difficult, but necessary. She says a summer long event packing people onto Haddad Riverfront Park steps week after week simply is not safe right now. My number one priority is to keep you safe. That's it. It's safe, fun, lucrative, money making. That all comes second, third and fourth because if I can't keep you safe, um, then we don't have economic viability here in the city of Charleston. Tim Brady with the Charleston Convention and Visitors Bureau estimates millions of dollars in lost revenue for the city business community so far. And while they can't promote travel to Charleston, they are taking a different approach to counter those dollars lost. So one of the things that we have really leaned into is making sure that our local uh, citizens and local residents uh, support our local tourism infrastructure. Tourism at its very base level is Adelphia and Pies and Pints and Books and Brews. Goodwin has plans of her own for safe downtown fun, including a social distant 4th of July celebration. Think of yesteryear and how we went out to watch movies. This is what people want at the end of the day. They just want to feel connected. I don't have to be standing right close to you to feel connected. And so we're working on ways to make that happen right now. And as Goodwin just said, they are trying to get creative with options for fun in the city. And this morning when we talked, she said anyone who has an idea to consider to contact her office. Rob, Jennifer, 